Hello everybody, I am BramM19 and welcome to episode 14 of Ottoman Empire Reborn and Supreme Lord Ultimate. Uh, quite a bit going on, we're primarily focusing on our economic benefits right now. We, uh, we're running a pretty weird economy. Um, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down, but for the most part we're not, we're kind of staying right where we are. I don't like that, I'd like to kind of get rid of that. At the same time, we're also dealing with uh, lots of little rebellions everywhere. I'm trying to get... Let's see if I can find the... There it is. There's the statistic right here. Our law enforcement right now is sitting at 92%. I'd like to get them up to 100, so maybe we can stop all that uh, nastiness from occurring where the... Uh, all these rebellions pop up and stuff like that. I hate, I hate partisans. They are terrible. Pop at the worst times. That was a good deal. Get rid of all these. Get rid of that. We're also working on our research right now. We recently took over Syria uh, so that we could take this research center for ourselves. It is at 100%, so in one day it'll probably fin uh, finish up. And maybe not. It might be a kind of like a weird 100% situation. Gotta wait just a little bit for it to come online. Oh, still not that day. It can be like a max of like six days at 100%, I'm sure. So I think we've, we've seen at least, what, two or three go through already? And yep, there it is right there. It's now starting work on the next possible thing. Uh, or it should be the Scorpene submarine. At least it should be. Unless it's picking something else. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, it actually had already started on stuff. It just probably wasn't at full force. These guys are knocking out yep, Bulgarian lands. Now that we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and make sure everything is rebuilding. There we go. Uh, we'll do it one more time, just for fun. Get knocked that out. Come out over here. This kind of sucks. I have so many guys that are just having a really hard time in here. I might need to put an airfield here so we can stop this from happening. Should do an air base or an airfield. Oh, I'll do an airfield. That should uh, project power pretty far. Could have also done like a supply depot and that would have gotten the same thing done. These are supply trucks that are just sitting out here with uh, more supply trucks. Let's go ahead and bring these guys down here if I can. Got rubber synthesize up there. Not much going on over there. I don't see a way for me to take this across. I don't see anywhere it should go except for like right down here again, so... Probably no point in doing anything with it. It's like, yeah, I have oil derricks up here going. I'm just taking a really good look around. Some of the stuff I haven't seen before, or I haven't really gone looking at. Uh, construction beginning, yeah, that's on that out there. Partisan units are com are still popping up. France has this very large uh, holding through France, Switzerland, Austria, uh, Slovakia, the Ukraine, Northern Romania, uh, Northern uh, Serbia, and uh, the Serb Republic for the most part has been taken. So at least we put a stop to that for the time being. Let's see, is there anything else out here? I'm just keeping an eye. They're taking over like... Looks like they're taking over villages that don't have anything in them. Now this is a problem. We can't allow that. I need that village. Just because if you take a look, it's got a bunch of uh, power facilities in it. I need as much power as I can get, as you can see. Let's see, how are we doing on our law enforcement now? We're at 94%. We have 100% a, a of our recommended being given. Oh, no, wait. No, we're not. Now we do. 
100% of our recommended every day being going into that. Okay, let's grab that, let's grab that. So maybe that'll get that up to 100% now. Let's see, they're working on a power petrol facility out here. They're gonna quickly overrun them. There we go, and grabbed it. Let's see, that looks fine. I'm just seeing if I ran that across, you know, just to kind of keep the, uh, keep the supply moving, just how it would work. But again, it's not that great. All right. Um, more unit designs being completed. Principe de Asturias. Okay. Biofuels, facilities, ERFB, BB ammunition, which is ballistic artillery range up to 40%. The Eurohawk. Sounds like a... Uh, Okay, yeah, that's a reconnaissance plane, uh, drone. Yeah, transport. Another transport. Another transport. There's quite a few little things in there that aren't worth anything. Um, we are getting close to that RFID commercial applications. I don't want to go attacking anybody else right now, though. We really need to focus on getting our economy back to where it needs to be. There's a 54.2 overall tax rate, 7.6% unemployment, inflation's at negative 0.3%, and that's fine. That's a that's acceptable for right now. Okay, guerrilla sabotage. We're at okay up here. Says it's got it's a guerrilla unit. It gets knocked out pretty quickly. We take it back, and then we set everything back online again. Okay. There's that. Go ahead and get Central Europe. There we go. Perfect. I wish there was a button that was like okay everything. Like you can only do theaters and battle zones. Which just to show what battle zones look like, in case I haven't done that before. This is what they look like. They're much more smaller scaled. You can combine, you can just do some stuff to like the AI wants you to defend the major spots here in the Istanbul uh, no, uh, battle zone. Here's the Ankara battle zone. Alright, uh, take that off. Let's go right here. More guerrilla sabotages. Come on, how much further do you have to go? You're at 95% right now. Okay, these are hydro facilities that are still being worked on. But we need them to hurry up. Who's trading uh, electricity at great rates? The U.S. and France, the U.K., Canada, South. Okay, anybody like that? I was gonna be going after Greece, maybe Egypt, Suez Canal. Okay, I don't think that counts. Israel, apparently. Kuwait, which will get added later on. Oh, okay. Works, it works. That's Spain. Alright, um I don't know what is what is Lebanon? Are they a importer or exporter? Well they're not an exporter, they are Can't see, I don't think they're on the list. Oh yeah, there they are. They're actually bringing in about seven thousand a day. Not worth it. At least not right now. Of course we are waiting to try to break down the list a little bit. We get all the way down here at the very end. I do have uh, improved power grid 4 to use. Okay, 
Okay, we've got to do this again. Uh, you're still Middle East. Let's do this one right here. Well, once they overrun that, there you go. Grab this one over here. All right, everybody is back online again. How much are we spending on building and construction? There it is, expense report. Um, construction's at 319 million. We took their capital. Took whose capital? UAE has now gotten a space race milestone. We got treasury benefits from taking over wherever Syria's new capital was down here. Oh yeah, all the way out here at uh, Tad Maria, I guess. Let's see. Too bad there's not one that lets me do like bio waste or anything like that to help generate power. I know there is one, but like it's not ready for me to take it up yet, I don't think. Hmm, unit build speeds and upgrades. The Trump ideology. I will build a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me. Believe me, and I build them very inexpensively. I will build a great, <laughs> great wall on our southern border and I will make Mexico pay for that wall. Mark my words. So if they put the Trump ideology as a research in here, then that's really weird. You gotta have commercial internet for it to work. Consumer recycling. Consumer goods use up to negative five. That's a good one to actually have. It doesn't take forever to get done. Uh, modern nuclear medicine. Yes, we want that. Space probes. Space race up to plus three. We'll do that. Fuel cells. Might as well. Video. Yeah. Clean coal. Uh, okay, whatever. And with my, while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and do upgraded manufacturing. High speed internet up to plus four. Research efficiency will go up. That's good too. High speed rail infrastructure cost goes down and its rating goes up. Tilt rotor. Uh, it's not going to give me anything. Upgraded rail system. Cost goes up, rating goes up too. So I'm going to just pretty much swap back and forth. Advanced digital HUDs. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah, air defense sites. Artillery improvements. Combat UAVs. Improved radars. There we go. We might as well just take it all, right? I mean, it's going to take us a while to get down here anyway. And when we do finally get there... You know, we'll probably blaze right through it. Besides, tilt rotor doesn't take long. Clean coal. Air defense. Yeah, these things are about 100 days each. Uh, Japan. Do that. Military facility. Uh, construction. Oh, that latest airfield is done. Research breakthrough and biofuels. Let's go up here and take a look at it. Is it expanding south? I can't tell. Yeah, it doesn't like it expanded south. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Um, could probably run the rail south and down to here. Just so I don't have to deal with that. That's probably what I'll do. Transport. Rail. Let's take it first. We're going to go straight south. here. And then we'll do there. That's fine. And then there's little inklings of supply in here. So that's not a big deal. Um, I don't know if I should run that up here. I don't see the point. The supply has a hard enough time going up here. And it has a little bit, like 2% right outside of that facility. 
All right, got some more construction for that railroad. I'd kind of like to see that happen. It's going to have to cross this bridge first, I, I think. And that's got 87 days remaining. This will probably go along much quicker. How many guys are leaning red now? There's only four guys leaning red. Let's take a look at that. Yep, the Serb Republic, Moldova, Lithuania, and Mongolia. Even Vietnam is not is not aligned right now. This is all that are not on the blue side at all. Mostly South American, some Asian. And that's it. Everybody else is aligned blue in some way. I mean, look at it. Some Latin America, that's what they are. There's another Latin American down here. One right here too, but they're all blue other than that except for Venezuela. All these Africans are light blue. Most Asians, but a few that were in the red earlier, are now light blue. I think they're starting to realize maybe if they uh, have to worry about it. Canada has become the first country to land a man on the moon. What? What? You gotta be kidding me. Canada? How'd that happen? I have a feeling that's already happened. Huh. We'll just let that go. Satellites. Alright. We're not going to do those units yet. We'll wait. We'll let some of these things get done on that. Let's see here. What's going on there? Some sort of attacks. I don't know what they were for. These guys are still just traveling right through, and I hate it. No clue why. And I can't really attack anybody because nobody has a excess power grid. Even though, I mean, ISIS has definitely got the excess power, I'm sure. Let's look. Let's see if ISIS has excess power. See, I'll probably be able to recognize that flag out of anybody. It's just a flat black flag. Yep, there they are right here. They're an importer. Negative 3,000 per day. Let's see, is there anybody I touch other than France that's going to be worth going after for that reason? We don't really touch Kuwait. Whoops, lost it. There it is. Or the Egyptian Suez Canal. Uh, we do touch Israel. That's not a whole lot we're going to get out of it. Let's see. Anybody else? Nope. That's going to be like a tough attack, too. Who are they? Are they friends with anybody? No, they're not. Benjamin Netanyahu. Huh, that may be who we go to war with next. They have a few research centers down here I know of. See if I can find that. Yeah, there's one there. There should be one here. So there's two. And taking them puts me on the border with Egypt. Who will then put me on the border with the Egyptian Suez Canal. So I could grab all of that and I could start my you know, march down here. Grab a few of these little things like I need to and then go across over here too. Okay. Of course, that elongates my. Uh, I'm already too far long from here to there, and then from down here to up here. That elongates me even further. Let's see, more unit designs. What am I at here in law enforcement? 98%. I haven't seen a gorilla unit or anything recently. In fact, I'm going to do this just to make sure I, I didn't speak too soon. There we go. It'd be great if, like, once you get there, it'll drop down to... Oh, they're getting more transports done. 
They just start on combat UAV designs. All right, that's fine. Looks good. Um, let's see. Is there anything? I don't think there's anything else I can do. I know this was a very boring episode, you guys. I'm I'm aware of that, but you can't always go attacking. You gotta have to worry about the economy. Unless you're the U.S., the U.S. can just push Canada, Mexico. Everybody just keep pushing around. I mean, they more than make up for it. By the time they take over, like, China, they have so much of the population and tax and stuff like that that they really don't have to worry about a thing after that. Just kind of go in there and fix up some of the petroleum because there's plenty of that. Shoot, I think the U.S. could stand up against everybody combined in this game. They're not overpowered. They're just... They're actually proportionately powered in that regard. But, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. And maybe next time we can get into a war with somebody like uh, Israel. So, uh, all right, guys, appreciate you so much. I'll see you guys next time.